okay, we're here today. We're going to blow some shit up. We're going to show you the problems if you let your brake pads wear down your rims too much, or you don't fit your tyres on properly, or you overinflate them. You can probably see over here we've got a box that we're going to do it all in because we obviously don't want to get hurt. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is uh, we're going to show you what happens when you get the tube caught underneath a tyre. You can just see it there. And what's going to happen is it's going to blow the tyre straight off the rim. Right, as you see there, we've just uh, blown up the first tyre and what we actually did is we put the tube underneath the tyre which is easy to do when you fit it badly and the tube, as it's inflating, actually blows the bead of the tyre straight off the rim. And it just went off with a massive bang, you saw that and you can imagine that happens while you're riding. Right, we're standing here in the dark because the fluorescent lights were making the, uh, the, the cameras flicker and we're trying to do it in slow motion. So we're just about to blow another one up. Really looking forward to this actually. I want to see it go off again. Right, so you can see here, what we're actually, one of the things we're trying to do today is um, actually show you what happens when the rim gets worn out and it, and it basically splits right through here. Um, but what we were doing there was trying to get the tire to blow, the tube to blow the tire off. And um, you can see it's actually folded, started to fold the rim over here and here before it's finally let go. So that was nearly an exploded wheel as well as an exploded tire. Right, so we've, uh, we've blown a couple of tires off with, with the tubes, but what we're really here today to do is uh, blow the side out of the rims where people let their uh, brakes wear through too much, let the rim get too thin, and it just explodes under pressure. Well, you can see what a mess has been made here. Basically, the, uh, the rim is so thin that the pressure of the tyre has just made it collapse and fold over and blow out. And you can imagine what would happen if that happened at sort of 30 or 40 miles an hour. You'd just be over the handlebars, this would be wrapped around your carbon forks, and you'd probably be going to hospital.
been successful at blowing this one apart as well. You can see here where the rim has just come right away or it's folded over because of the pressure from the tyre. But that's basically because the rim's been worn down too much and you can actually see this line all the way around here where uh, the, the metal's been rubbing off the, off the actual brake pad itself, the brake holder, and cutting through the rim. Don't do this at home. Right, as fun as this has been today, this is actually really quite dangerous if you don't look after your rims. Um, you know, that's, that happens because uh, the brake pads wear out and the metal cuts through the rim, or you know, just the grit off the road wears through them. It's worth giving an eye on because eventually they will just blow up. Which is cool, yeah? Yeah, totally cool if you do it in a, in a controlled environment. Oh, exactly. Not, <laughs> not on the road, though. No, you don't want these to blow up on the road on you. No. Is that too serious? No, yeah. No, no, no. It was good. That was good.